iron, do you? Doesn't happen. So get vitamins that don't require any other foods to go with them. If a vitamin is going to work for you properly, it goes in and it works. Empty stomach, full stomach, it doesn't matter. Now what happens is the proteins, they form polypeptides, which then form hormones or neurohormones. All right? Does everybody know what hormones and neurohormones are for? Anybody doesn't know what they're for? Okay. They're for your feelings. Okay? Without them, you don't have any feelings in the physical body. You need hormones for feelings. I'll explain that. Let's look at this graph here now. You have atoms, right? Everybody know what an atom is? It's a proton and an electron. This goes around. Or orbits like a miniature sun, a miniature earth, a miniature moon. This combines to make a molecule. A molecule is the smallest element having a chemical characteristic. Okay? This is back in high school and grade school science. Atom molecule. This then forms a cell. 50 million per second. Okay? 3,000... Three million alone just for red blood cells in the body if you're functioning properly. But just think of the amount of free electrons you've got to have, how many negative ions per cubic centimeter you need to make this, this system work. The cell then forms an organ, and there are seven basic organs in the body. These are called endocrine glands. They store the hormones. The hormones are stored up inside the organs in the body. Okay? Now, here we are sitting with these hormones, which are potential feelings, inside of seven glands, all right? Some of these hormones are adrenaline, sitting in the adrenals, all right? The adrenaline will allow us to metabolize sugar to give us energy, right? Some of these hormones are testosterone or estrogen, allowing us to have sexual, to reproduce. Some of these hormones are in the pituitary, called vasopressin, which are going to give us energy to think, to be creative, to reach God consciousness. But we still have to get these hormones from these organs into the brain. The brain is like a switch. It has a switch that's normally turned on, called an effector, or a switch that's normally turned off, called a receptor. The switch, one side of the switch is connected to the body. The other side of the switch is hooked to seven levels of consciousness and higher powers on the inner level physical plane, astral or emotional plane, mental plane, int intuitions, all the things that give you that internal voice, and that internal guidance, have to be connected through the brain, through the hormones. The hormones regulate the speed at which these switches go off and on, and this is called orchestration. But we still don't have the hormones which we formed coming out of the organs. So we need what is called stimulus, all right, stimulus. The endocrine glands are capillaries. They work by relaxation. For example, when you hear a beautiful symphony, don't you feel relaxed? You feel high? Everything is okay? Because seven different musical notes have relaxed seven different glands in the proper sequence so that the seven sets of hormones can go into the body and produce a feeling of exhilaration. Okay? When you have arthritis, you put copper bracelets on like they do in Japan. Copper stimulates the adrenal. The adrenaline goes down into the bones. The bones then destroy all the anaerobic bacteria that pre creates the arthritic condition, and the arthritis goes away. Okay? So metals, jewelry, stimulate. These are stimulus. Okay? Pyramids are another form of stimulus. Each one of these pyramids that we make has a different form of metal in it, which causes a different endocrine function to behave in a calculated manner. Planetary vibrations. The moon. What ha why do they call people lunatics? Because when the moon is full, the stimulation, the stimulus, causes large amounts of serotonin to be produced by inhibiting an enzyme called monoamino oxidase, which causes the behavior patterns of people to become strange because they tune into the growth-resistant aura of the planet. Mars, Venus, Uranus. When Uranus transits with the Earth, this causes the sex drive to go up in someone that's sexually oriented or it causes your creative powers to go way up because it works in the head centers, the pituitary hormones and the pineal hormones, planetary. Colors, when you look at blue, the hormones in the thalamus, in the heart, the healing energy is released. All of this is stimulus, okay? Now you begin to see how some of these things work. 
Now, unfortunately, stimulus is an area that we're also trying to block. You go downstairs, you see these, they call this magnetic polarity, right? You see the little cones downstairs that they're selling. What do those do? They work on electromagnetic pollution. And a good example of electromagnetic pollution was when we put power poles operating at 60 cycle over the surface of this planet. 